Happy Monday, Wilcox families. It is Miss Filipiak with another just quick update for you. I'm excited because this week is going to be our week of being able to distribute some technology to those of you who need it so that we can keep our learning going and actually just maximize that learning, right? So I've had several questions about that technology distribution, and so I'm hoping to clarify some of those questions today in this video, um, but I'm still able to email and phone call and dojo and all that good stuff if you continue to have more questions after this. So first of all, Wilcox distribution is set to be this coming Thursday from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Um, we're still seeing how other schools handle this um, in you know starting today up through Thursday so I'm waiting to get some tips and pointers from them but here's how I kind of envision it in my head so far so again that's gonna be Thursday from 1 o'clock to 3 o'clock I've had a lot of people ask me um, if well they said I, I answered the technology survey already but something has changed since then maybe I said I didn't need a, a device but um, now I do, and that is okay. Even if on the survey you said, nope, I'm good, I don't need anything, and now you're in a different position and you're thinking you do, that is absolutely okay. You can still come on Thursday from 1 to 3 and pick up your child's device. Our plan is that each child um, who comes would be able to get the iPad that they use in their classroom, their one-on-one -on -one iPad. And so hopefully... Um, you know, passwords and things that they use on a daily basis would already be on that iPad ready to go. So it should make for a pretty smooth transition. So again, no matter how you answer that technology survey, if things have changed for you and you are now in need of that technology, that is absolutely okay. And you can come on Thursday from 1 to 3. Um, to keep everybody safe and at a social distance on Thursday, we are asking that all families stay in their cars. You are not going to get out of your car at all. What we're going to do is have, you know, our circle um, in, the, in our parking lot, the little circle drive that we do at dismissal time. It's going to be the exact same thing, um, same little route as we do at dismissal. And so um, you'll just kind of pull in, and myself and one other um, district administrator will be out front, and we're going to be going up to the cars at a safe distance, seeing who is there to check out technology, and then again, my idea is that we will radio from somebody inside to be able to get that iPad, um, iPad and charger, and then we will, you know, have it brought out to you. We will have two forms um, for the for the adult to sign, and that is just a form saying that you're taking responsibility for the technology. Um, and we're going to have the adult sign both forms. One form is for us to keep at school, and then the other copy, they're the same form, the other copy is for you to take home and have a copy yourself. Um, we are asking that whoever brings the kiddo to get the technology, and actually the kid the kid doesn't need to come with you, the student, if, if they um, can't or don't want to, um, the less people out the better. But whoever does come to pick up the te technology, needs to be somebody on the QM card. So the parent or guardian or one of those emergency contact people who is allowed to pick up the student. Um, bring your ID just in case because if I am at your car and I recognize you, that will be an easy thing and we wouldn't need it, but um, any district personnel that are helping at the Wilcox site may not recognize you. So have your ID just in case. Um, and if for some reason, you are having to send somebody. Let's say you have to work, so you're sending somebody else that's not on the emergency card to pick up that device. That is okay, but what I would like for you to do is email me or call me. Um, you can talk to me one-on-one -on -one or even leave a voicemail because I get all the Wilcox voicemails. And so you can let us know if there's somebody else picking up your device for you, um, in which case they would sign, and then I will make note that you um, told me that that was okay. Um... I think that's it for now. I really just wanted to clarify to you guys that um, even if you filled out that survey and said you don't need something, um, it's okay if if at this point you do. That's that's okay because sometimes you know that learning might be easier for our kiddos if they're using a one-to-one -one iPad that they're just used to using anyways. All right. So um, there will be more updates coming this week. I know we are trying to. The district is learning a new. Um, platform that we're going to be using for our remote learning 
And um, so we're going to try to get work on figuring that all out, and then we'll give you guys updates on that, okay? Um, so plan on Thursday from 1 to 3. If you are not able to come to the Wilcox building to pick that up, again, email me or call me. Um, and we will see how we can help you with getting that technology. All right. So this is a long video. I apologize, but I'm trying to think of what we can do to make Thursday go quickly and smoothly for everybody. All right. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. It's beautiful outside. I hope you're getting some fresh air and sunshine. Um, and again, as always, let me know if you have questions so that we can get that technology into your hands. Have a great one. I'll see you guys later.